and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today, I have bought so much makeup recently. Stop it. Get some help. Well, this is like a collective haul for the past like month or so. I did pick up some things from the Sephora sale that just recently happened. I picked some things up at Ulta. I picked some things up at the drugstore. And I also literally, as I was about to sit down to film this video, I got a notification of two packages in my mailbox. So I got in my cart and I drove to my mailbox just to come back here to open them on camera with you. So if you like makeup hauls, if you like seeing me spend my money on a lot of makeup, you should definitely, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. And I would love it if you would give this a thumbs up if you enjoy it while you're watching it. Everything I talk about today, I will link down in the description box below. And I am wearing some of these products on my face. So I will pop in clips as I go so you can see them in action. So I technically shopped four times. Yes, that's right. I said four times from the Sephora sale. So the first thing is I placed an order online. So let's go over what I bought online. And some of these products I did mention in my Sephora wish list video, which I can link down below if you're interested in that. So the first thing I did buy is the one size point made waterproof liquid eyeliner pen. And this is in the shade Busty Brown. So I did use this on my eyes today. I can tell it's not gonna be my favorite liquid liner ever. So I wanted to get a brown liquid liner that looks actually brown and not like super dark brown that it almost looks black. So color wise, I think this is nice. It is a felt tip pen, which is not my favorite. I much prefer a brush tip. I do really like the color. The ease of use was okay. I felt like I had to go over the same spot quite a few times to get it opaque. Like I feel like it was kind of patchy. Now I do have like wrinkles and texture on my eyes. So t sometimes to, like get in the folds, I have to go over it a few times, which sounds kind of gross, but it is what it is. It was just kind of hard to get opaque. That's like my main thing. And then the other kind of complaint I have is the cap doesn't actually like click on very, very loose. And actually it's already starting to leak. So a few moments later, so I might have gotten a faulty one. Cause yeah, the cap does not like click on. It's just kind of resting on, which for a liquid liner is probably not the best thing in the world, but I'm going to continue to use it. And I always do a speed reviews video just about once a month, give you my final thoughts on products after I've used them enough to get my final thoughts on them. I did a restock on two of my most favorite skincare products. So this is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. I talk about this ad nauseum on my channel, but it is my favorite cleansing balm. It's extremely affordable. It comes in a squeezy tube. It's non-scented, which means it does have a little bit of funky scent, but I can get past it for the price. It does leave a little bit of a film on my skin, but I always go in with a second cleanser afterwards. It does a great job of removing my makeup. I just love it. It's my favorite cleansing balm. And then I also restocked the Inky List Retinol Serum. This is the serum that I use like twice a week at night before I put on my moisturizer. And I feel like it really does make a big difference in the general look of my skin, the tone, the texture. It's a really, really good gentle retinol serum. So I did restock on these. And I usually do during the sale because I know I'm gonna use them. And then the last thing that I ordered in my initial order was this. So this is the Pattern Styling Custard. So I saw Jamie Page Beauty do a recommendations video and I was like done getting my cart together. And then she talked about this product and I was like, oh, I, I definitely want that. They're calling it a styling custard, which sounds kind of interesting. It's like a gel, but it's not crunchy and it's meant for curls. So naturally I do have pretty curly hair. I very rarely wear my hair natural because I have a hard time making it look good after the first day. Like the first day the curls look nice and then I go to bed and I wake up and they're a hot mess. The next day it looks like I stuck my finger in a light socket. So I'm on a journey, okay? I really need to not heat style my hair as much as I do. And so I thought this would be a really good product to try out just to see if it did a good job defining my curls. And apparently for Jamie Page, she was raving about it. I really also love the packaging. It's a soft matte touch, which I think is so cool for a hair gel. When you open it up, I don't know how much I can really show you because it's very runny, but it's almost like, it reminds me of pudding. 
It doesn't smell like pudding though. It smells like hair gel. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna report back to you and to let you know how my experience with it is, but I thought I would give it a shot. That was all I ordered in the first order, but they did accidentally put in this Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Correcting Cream from It Cosmetics. Um, I don't really have redness. Have you used this before? I've literally never even heard of it before. <laughs> uh, I might just try to put this aside and maybe throw it in a giveaway or see if somebody in my life wants it because I don't really have natural redness to cover up, but I just thought that was kind of interesting that they uh, accidentally put this in my box. Sorry if this was yours and they threw it in mine accidentally. <laughs> now in my initial wish list video, I did mention that I was absolutely definitely 100% going to get the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in the shade Iconic Nude. And I want to go order it and put it in my basket on the first day of the sale and it was sold out. So I went around the corner to the Kohl's here that has a Sephora in it and I picked it up in store. So like I just said, this is the lip cheat in the shade Iconic Nude. It is what I'm wearing on my lips underneath a gloss today that I will be talking about. Uh, this is absolutely gorgeous of a color. It's like my lips, but better. That's how I feel. I have this lip cheat in a few other colors, the Pillow Talk line, Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk Medium, Pillow Talk Intense, which I really enjoy the formula of those. They're just not like my favorite everyday colors, but the formula of these lip liners is so good. I feel like they are worth the money. They're extremely creamy, but they last forever, forever. And I'm so excited to have this nude color. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. And then after that, I went to Disney Springs with one of my friends who flew up from, flew up, flew down from Massachusetts for a visit. We went to Disney, went to Epcot. And then one of the days we were walking around Disney Springs and I said, you know what? Let me pop into Sephora. Let me just take a look and see if there's anything else I need. Well, I ended up buying a couple more things. So I saw that they had this, you know, that like Island of Doom while you're waiting in line. They have all of like little value size products, little gift sets. You always end up throwing one of the extra thing in your cart. So that's what happened to me. So I got this Anastasia full sized and mini size clear brow gels for $22, which is the price of just the full size. So you're basically getting a mini size free. I needed a new refill of this because I always, always have one of these in my collection because it is my favorite clear brow gel of all time. One of the regular size, like the full size, will last you forever. I'm not kidding, like a year at least. But I thought it's probably time to, to stock up because I've had mine for probably about a year now. <laughs> So I'm super excited to have a travel size for when I'm traveling. I can just keep this in my makeup bag. So love that I was able to get this. And then also while I was there, I wanted to pick up the Give Bubble Pop Electric High Performance Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Sweet Tooth. So I did mention this as well in my wishlist video that I had smelled it in store and I, th I think it smells unbelievable. The packaging is really luxe. It's really nice, but I will say I don't like this lip gloss. It is quite opaque. So it looks kind of heavy on the lips and it's pretty sticky, which I don't particularly like. And also I hate, this is like my biggest pet peeve with lip glosses, when the doe foot applicator doesn't hold a ton of products. So I feel like I have to dip in like four or five times just to cover my lips. And with it being kind of sticky and opaque, it's like, a little tiny bit on the paddle and you go to rub it and it like only rubs like this much. And then you gotta go in and it's like, eh, eh. I'm probably making no sense at all, but point made, I don't really like this. <laughs> and the fact that it's like a very, very light pinky peach color, when I first apply it especially, there is definitely a line like of demarcation between my lip and the gloss. So that's not a good look. And on top of it all, I don't feel like it's especially that glossy looking. So I don't suggest this right off the bat. I mean, again, I'm gonna continue to use it. Maybe I'll change my mind. Now that it's been on my lips for about an hour, yeah, it's still pretty sticky. I don't, eh, no, I, I don't suggest this one. And I spent $20 on it, so that kind of sucks. Maybe I'll see if one of my sisters-in-laws wants it. Sarah, I know that you're watching, so may maybe you want it, let me know. And then, I did talk about this on my new makeup releases. I am a 
psycho makeup collector. I hope some of you out there can relate. And I want to collect all of the Natasha Denona minis. Uh, I just do. And so when she said that she was releasing a gift set with the mini nude with a little blending brush, uh, that was all I needed. That was the only little push I needed to say, oh yeah, okay, this is a perfect time to pick it up. So I did. <laughs> I bought the mini nude eyeshadow palette kit and I am wearing this eyeshadow palette on my eyes today. Uh, spoiler alert, I love it. I absolutely love it. I love that you're getting these three like very gorgeous, smooth, yet very metallic metallics. I like that these mattes are light and deep, so there is some depth. You can just use the lighter matte to get an everyday look, or you can deepen it up with that darker brown matte. All three of the metallics I feel like are really different. They look different. I like that there is a light metallic for an inner corner highlight. You can get complete looks out of this, which I think is great. And I, I feel like with her minis, she is so good about that, that you can get a complete look with these little palettes. Uh, so far, I love it. I'm so excited to continue to use it. I'm so excited to have it. It is a beautiful, neutral five pan palette, which I can definitely see myself traveling with. I love when I travel packing like two of these so that I can mix and match them. They all seem to go together so well. And so yes, I absolutely love it. Now, while I was recording me putting my makeup on, I totally forgot to use the brush, but I did use it on my lower lash line and it's really soft. It's a really nice fluffy blending brush. I love blending brushes. They're probably my favorite types of brushes, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I just love them, all different sizes, the big ones, the small ones, to be able to get in there and blend. So I'm definitely gonna get some use out of this. It's nice, it's a nice brush. And this would be a really, really cute holiday gift for somebody. So that's everything that I got at Sephora, but it's not over yet, folks. I went to Ulta as well. Now, a lot of this stuff I did get from there. They were having some kind of sale prior to the Sephora sale. I'm not sure, I'm not sure that I remember, but I did pick up a few things. So first thing, I restocked on the Lily Lashes Brush On Lash Adhesive. This is my favorite lash glue of all time. I have several strewn across my house and I always just love to buy one whenever they go on sale. It is a clear brush on lash glue, but it's not irritating. My eyes get so irritated with so many lash glues and this one does not irritate my eyes at all. I feel like it does a really good job of gluing my lashes to my lash line without like me having to have dried and goopy, sticky lash glue all up in my lashes for the next four days. Like it comes off really easily. So I love that. And yes, I just restocked on that. And then I bought a product that I've been wanting to try forever. And I finally just bit the bullet. I bought one of the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Bronzers and I got mine in the shade I'll Bet. This is the bronzer that I am wearing on my face today and uh, I absolutely love it. I think it is so beautiful. When I first bought this, I, I thought it was gonna be way too deep for me. Like in the pan, it looks pretty deep. But for me right now at the tail end of summer, I mean, I live in Florida, so it's kind of still feels like summer here. While I have a little bit of a tan still, this works for me really nice. I don't know that this is gonna work for me in a few months, but I'm going to uh, enjoy it while I can. I feel like it blended in so easily. It's definitely more of a subtle application, which I have the Super Shock Cheek highlighters and blushes, and I just love the formula, more of that putty formula. It's easy to build up. You're not gonna get a ton of pigment at once, which I really appreciate. And I really, really like the color. I like the finish. I love it. I'm so excited to have this, and I waited too long. I waited too long. I should have bought this months ago when I had a tan, but, I'm gonna get some use out of it while I can. All right, and then I picked up the About Face Cheek Freak Blush Balm. Now I did place an online order on Ulta's website. I did get this, I got a couple other things, and I also bought the Flower Beauty Desert Lights, no, Jungle Lights palette, and it came completely broken. And not only did it come broken, the dark, dark purple shade exploded into the package and went all over everything that was in the package. So that's why this packaging looks a little bit dirty is because metallic purple eyeshadow got all over it and it's a soft matte, so it stuck to the packaging. And not only that, it actually got inside and ended up a little bit on the actual blush and I was able to wipe it off, but 
Anyway, uh, so I did use this on my cheeks today. So far, I think it's really beautiful. Again, much more of a subtle look to the blush, not super pigmented off the bat. And they're calling it a blush bomb. So it is a little bit more on the emollient side. It actually reminds me a lot of the AF94 Playdate Multi-Use Cheek and Lip Color, which is About Face's sister brand. Did I say this was About Face or AF94? I'm sorry, this is from About Face. I'm not sure if, anyway. So they remind me of each other, even in the tone, like this is slightly more bright orange. This is more like a brown orange. But yeah, if you like this product, you probably would like this because they're pretty similar. I love the packaging. It reminds me of Polly Pocket. I don't know, it's cute. I love, I love the packaging. So I will continue to use this, but so far upon first application, it looks really cute. By the way, I got the shade Raunchy in this. And this one is in this shade Saver. Because I have a blush problem, I also bought more blush. So this is the Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge Volume 6 Blush Duo. Now I do have another one of these. I actually have the Volume 2, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's got two warm pinks. They blend like a dream. They're matte. They're so beautiful. And I also have the bronzer duo, which again, same thing, very blendable, not powdery, really smooth, buildable. In the bronzer, I have the shade medium. So I would say if you're in between shades, go deeper than you think you might need. So I wanted to pick up the orange one because I love orange, especially an orange blush. So I picked up this one. I, again, it's volume six. Now I will say this top blush has sparkle in it, which is not my favorite thing, but of course I am gonna use it. I have not even touched this, I haven't swatched it, nothing. So I like that you get a bright orange as well as a lighter orange as well. Really, really beautiful. Love the formula of these. I hope this is the same formula as the other ones, but yes, so excited to have this. And then I picked up another cream bronzer. Yeah, this one was in, in the package with the Flower Beauty because it's completely dirty. So I've heard so many people talk about this cream bronzer. This is from Makeup Revolution. It's their cream bronzer. I got mine in the shade Light. Let me open this up. Kind of just had to wipe off the eyeshadow that was in there. And just from touching it, it feels super emollient, like very emollient, which I'm not sure that I'm gonna like as someone with oily skin. I'm a little skeptical of that. And the color looks a bit light for me, but again, maybe in a couple months, it'll it'll match me. So if you've used this cream bronzer before, can you please let me know your experience, especially if you have oily skin like me, I would love to know. So I was definitely intrigued and curious about this cream bronzer. I also restocked on my favorite night cream. This is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. I've gone through probably 10 of these at this point. It is my night cream of choice. It is a thick cream, which even someone like me that has oily skin, I love to have a heavy moisturizer at night while I sleep. I want my youth preserved for as long as possible. And this literally feels like when you wake up in the morning, as if you had just applied moisturizer. Your skin still feels moisturized. It feels plump. I love it. I absolutely love it. I will continue to repurchase it. And then I noticed for the same line, they came out with an eye cream. So I wanna start using this at night as well. So this is the Skin Renewing Eye Cream. Visibly firms and reduces the look of fine lines and crow's feet, moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier. With three essential ceramides, niacinamide and caffeine. So I'm so excited to try this. I have not tried it yet, but it just looks like this. And when you squeeze it out, I think I did squeeze it out. Yeah, it pretty much looks like the cream, but it's a little bit of a thinner texture, which is nice. I have been putting this underneath my eyes, like carrying it up into my eye area, but I feel like it's a little thick and it just feels a little heavy. So this one feels a little bit more, almost like a watery consistency once you work it in. So, oh, and it's a little cooling. Hmm. And then I picked up a little blending brush. Now I have, don't have it with me. I have this, a little Morphe blending brush that I do not think they make anymore. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll pop it up on the screen. So this is the closest thing I could find to it and they had it at the Ulta near me. So this is the Morphe M506 and it's just a tiny little fluffy blending brush. I love these types of brushes for the lower lash line to just have something that's fluffy, but also small. So I really wanted to get another one of these. And like I said, it's the closest thing I could find to the one I had. I, I don't think they make it anymore. So. 
I picked one of these up. And then my favorite brand for claw clips, because I am a claw clip whore. I just love them. I have them. I have to have them all across my house because at any given time I need one and whatever room I'm in, I need it to be within hands reach. Like right here, I have one <laughs> just randomly in front of me that has nothing to do with this video. But I bought another one and my favorite brand for claw clips is the brand Kitsch. They sell them at Ulta and they also have their own website, of course. So I picked up a new one and they're calling this one the marble one, the marble claw clip. Yeah, the marble claw clip. So I thought this was really, really pretty. This is in the brunette shade. They also have one in the blonde shade. So thought this was really fun. Now, the reason I like their claw clips is they all have like kind of a modern design. They have all different designs to them. But the thing I love the most is that I have very thin hair, like very thin hair. And I find most claw clips do not close tight enough to hold my hair. My hair just falls right out of them. And for the ones that I've tried from Kitsch, they really do like securely hold my thin hair. They're one of the only brands that I've found that is good for my thin hair. So if you have thin hair, I would definitely suggest checking them out. There is a set that I actually, did I buy it in this haul? I might have, and I've already opened it and put it away. I'll pop them up on the screen. I have it in the like the nude colors as well as the grays. They're like a braided claw clip. And if you watch my videos, you've probably seen me wear them. These are my favorite ones because they really, really are more neutral, but they really hold my hair tight. So I will link those down below. Okay, and we're moving right along. So from there, I went to the drugstore. Uh, I'm not sure why it's in a Target bag because these items are from Walmart. And I only just picked up a few things. So I'm gonna use these in a future video. And I did mention these in my new makeup releases video. Oma by Sharon C released some new products. So I picked up the cream bronzer. This is the Flawless in Real Life bronzer in the shade Shady. So I think there were four shades available. And this one I believe is the second to lightest shade the lightest shade looked a little warm toned. This one looked a little more neutral. So I'm gonna see how I like this. This packaging reminds me of the Tower 28 cream products, like exactly, which I love clear acrylic packaging. I love it. And then I also got one of the blushes. So this is the Flawless in Real Life blush in the shade Obsessed. So it's like a deeper, like orangey brownish red color, which I thought was really pretty. It is a little deeper than I would like to go, but the lightest shade had a lot of sparkle in it, which is just not my favorite type of thing for a blush. And then I picked up one of the Lips Don't Lie lipsticks. This is more of like a sheer moisturizing lipstick. This is in the shade Dope, and it looks like a warm nude. So I am gonna use these in a future video. And now let's open some mail together. The first thing is this package from ColourPop. I'm not gonna spoil the surprise, let me open it up. Uh, I did talk about a couple of things that I wanted from ColourPop and I finally just said, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So I bought the Nightmare Before Christmas palette. This is a palette that I did not get the first time around and I've literally been thinking about it for an entire year ever since. And then they restocked it and I said, you know what? I need to get it. I just need to get it. I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. It is my favorite Disney movie. I love it. The packaging is so cute with zero. I love zero. They've got all these sparkly details on it. Very cute. Let me open it up and look. Same packaging once you open it up. It feels very heavy. Ooh, beautiful. Cute. And then you have this color story a little bit deeper, a little bit more like Halloween-y. Uh, for me, Halloween is year round. I love Halloween, so I love this. So I'm really excited. Oh, I'm really excited that I picked this up. And then the next palette that I picked up, I knew I was gonna get FOMO if I didn't buy it. I got the C3PO palette. I have a lot of the Star Wars palettes. I am a collector, you guys. I can't, I can't. He is looking so cute on the cover. Ooh, oh, this looks so pretty in person. The shimmers look really pretty. And it says, oh my, and it has him and R2D2 there, very cute. This is a mostly shimmer palette, right? One, one, two, three, four, five shimmers and four mattes. So a little bit more shimmers than mattes. These look absolutely stunning. It is a boring neutral palette, but listen, I'm a boring neutral girl sometimes. 
So I think this is gorgeous. I saw Angelica Neekvist's video on this and she kind of convinced me that I needed it without trying, but I just thought her look looked gorgeous. So I will feature this on my channel at some point coming up here. And last but not least, I have a package from Unearthly Cosmetics. So if you are not familiar with Unearthly Cosmetics, they are an indie brand. And I think they're out of Florida actually, which is cool. They are one of my favorite brands of all time, indie or not. I think their products are so good. So I picked up a few things. I placed this order quite a while ago. I know they were having some shipping delays. So I picked up another one of their little brushes. I did buy an eye brush set from them and this brush in particular, I loved so much that I wanted to grab another one. So again, it's like that other Morphe brush, except it's a little bit bigger of a fluffy brush. This is the UC 8-7. It is perfect for like getting up in the crease really precisely. Very, very soft brush. I love their brushes. So I'm so happy to have another one of these. I also picked up another pair of one of my most favorite lashes. This is their lash in the style Intangible. They are really long and more wispy. So not super thick and voluminous. So I love this when I really wanna show off my eyeshadow, like all the blending that I did, I want people to see it. But I still get that glam factor because they're so long. Love these and they're so easy to apply. These I think are 650, if I'm not mistaken. They're so affordable really highly recommend their lashes. And then I picked up three of their matte liquid lipsticks. These are new, I believe they're new. And so let's open them up. We have the shade Grim. Ooh, it's like this cool toned, almost like gray brown. The packaging reminds me of the Wet n Wild liquid catsuit lipsticks. You guys remember those? Feels exactly the same. Oh, the doe foot is different though. It's more pointed. Ooh, they smell good. It smells like, like coconut and baked goods. Ooh, that's so pretty. It actually looks a little deeper than it does in the component. That's gonna be a really, really nice fall color. Then I have the shade Leaves, which looks a little bit warmer. This looks right up my alley. Oh yeah. Again, a really, really pretty fall time color, like this warm brown. And then I have the shade Fatal which actually looks pretty similar. Let's see, let's put them next to each other. Oh, it's ever so slightly, actually they look pretty damn close. <laughs> and then the big finale. This is an eyeshadow palette from Earnest Cosmetics that I have wanted forever, forever. And went back in stock and I just bit the bullet and I did it. So this is the Fall Magic palette. Ooh, that is the perfect fall color story. Tell me not. Tell me not. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed. I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Their eyeshadow formula is so good. It is so, 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 so good. So, um, yep. So excited to have that. Yeah, looking on the website, these two look pretty similar, but the one fail over here looks a, a touch more like orange and this looks a little bit more brown. So they're pretty close though. I'll have to try them out on the lips and see what they look like. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the things that I've bought over the past month. Let me know your thoughts down below. Did you shop the Sephora sale? Have you bought anything lately that you are just loving? I would love, love, love to know down in the comments. I love hearing from you. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I would love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.